In this tutorial I want to demonstrate what you can do with a sine wave editing pages. I start with a preset which uh, uses a fuzz guitar resource and I open the first sine editor page um, you can tap through the single overtones like this and uh, then you have these six parameters here to to change the to change one one track of the resource one track means one of the harmonics okay so uh now i have let's do okay harmonic number 12 and i um, increase the gain of this okay i also could change the frequency can do this for each overtone and there's a decay parameter like this. and there are some more modulations um, like this to use this for now. Then we have a second page, this one, which um, shows the, the fine structure of the resource for each overtone again. So I could you here um, yeah, change the the curve here like this. And what is more interesting, you also could use uh, the frequency. You see the uh, there are very small fluctuations here uh, from the analyzed sound. But I can do something like this now. do this with every single harmonic if you like. <laughs> There's also a random page. Um, which works like like this. Um, you can you have these controls here and uh, um, if you set, uh, let's say, gain to a positive level, then each time you press go, you get a new gain, uh, random gains for each harmonic. And it sounds like this. You also can do it for the frequency. So 
so there are endless possibilities. Yeah, infinite.